What's going on, Z Warriors? Mr. Waffles here, and today I have an awesome translation of basically this whole entire program. Uh, for those who, you know, probably have the program and didn't really know what anything meant and it seemed really confusing, I don't blame you because everything's pretty much in Japanese. Um, but this is for those as well who are just uh, maybe just trying it out for the first time or whatever and, you know, just want to play but don't know all the ins and outs of the, the menu. So I'm basically like your tour guide and how to navigate through this thing and showing you everything in English. As you can see, the English text will be right over the Japanese lettering. So there's no need to worry about what something means. And if I go to like a um, a window that might have some Japanese, I, I, I know what it says. It's, it was just nothing really significant that really affected how you play the game. And all these components here are pretty much um, what you'll be seeing most often. So hence why they're translated. So to get started, uh, we'll start off with right here. We have the home. We have battle. We have card menu. We have geisha, which was a weird translation for me. I think it just means like card because this is where you can actually just buy cards with your zenny. Um, they're, they're random, of course, but um, that's what for some reason it translated to. This right here is digital items, uh, notifications, options. Over here we have the profile, we have battle, and we have scan. Um, just for those who don't know, the the scan option um, is something that we don't have in America because we're only getting a physical version. Uh, I think you can buy a scanner probably online or something because uh, only the Japanese cards have the chips in them. Uh, what would actually be cool for Bandai to do is like what Pokemon does is by having like some kind of barcode or some kind of number or whatever that you just type in and you get the the cards that you like purchase whatever from a pack or something like that. Um, I think that would be really cool just because it gives incentive for people to not only play the online game but also uh, buy into the the physical version. So we see that kind of all over how just you know marketing your game through um, an expandable means is very efficient. You know, you see a Hearthstone, everyone has pretty much phones at this point or even a laptop so they can just play on the go. So to have access to whatever game you really like on the fly is very helpful. You know, Pokemon has the new um, app, I think, like Link Souls or Link Duels or whatever it is. Um, so another way for people to like their favorite game and, you know, just being able to have it accessible wherever they want to go. Uh, I know Magic, I think, has something like that and Pokemon as well. So, um, you know, it's cool that Bandai is in the right direction of having this because this is all advertisement right here. Um, I think the step further for the English consumers to get them into it is um, if you don't have the chips, maybe have some kind of barcode or something like that where they can just scan or type in a number so that way you can get their cards. But that's for a different uh, time. So we'll go on here. So this is battle. So th this right here, this means um, like battle online or um you know, with a with a rival or something like that. This translates to uh, uh, battle your friend. So, if you want to play with a friend, it's another good way. So, it's pretty cool. Um, I haven't done it yet, but um, I'll let you know how that goes. This right here is like master the way. So, it's Mr. Popo teaching you how to play the game. It's a tutorial, basically, what it comes down to. And this right here is your win record. So, if we go into uh, battle your sorry uh, battle online. Um, you have your whole like deck right here, as you can see. Your your deck consists of uh, 40 cards plus your leader, 41 total. This right here is your strike, like how much damage. Um, uh, just like this is the strike number. Um, as you can see, the damage right here is 2. I don't know why that's 1. Um, but right here is your, this means leader. Right here is deck allocation. So if you click it, you can see all the different um, breakdowns of how many types of colors of the card, the, the types of how many different levels you have and all that stuff. Uh, right here is search and right here is sort. This is okay and this is like back or return so as you can see it goes back if you press it. So we'll just go right into the, the one that says uh, search. So you can search by level right here, by skill, characteristics, age or saga, character, strike or how much damage the card does, uh, flight, or sorry, uh, fight, um, which I'm not really sure what that one really is. Car type, color, and this is to clear everything, and this means close. So if we go here with the levels, you can see level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, you know, close. Pretty simple right there. Uh, right here with skill, 
it means with skill or without skill. Basically, uh, does the card have an effect or is it uh, just a vanilla or is it blank? Right here with characteristics, um, this is just showing you the different types of um, cards that the, the game has. So, you either have God, Saiyan, Namekian, Ginyu Force, Artificial Human or Android, Freezer Army, the Fight Skill, which I'm not too sure about this translation as well, and Earthling with humans like uh, Krillin, Yamcha, etc. And God with Whis, Beerus, Champa, the whole nine yards. And then right here, this one is uh, uh, the age or the, the saga. So I'm going all the way down so that way you guys can uh, get the whole gist of it. So this is Saiyan Saga. This is Bojack Saga. This is Chilled Saga. This is Revival of F. This right here is Frieza Saga, Bobbity Saga, Abo Cabo, which, again, I don't know um some, like, I haven't really watched Super, so I don't really know exactly all the uh, like the names or, of some people. So sorry if I butchered it. Champa Saga, Android Cell Saga, Boo Saga, Battle of the Gods, John Nimba Saga, and then if we go down here, this is Broly and uh, Black Goku Saga. So there's that, and then this one right here. These are the characters. So these are. It's kind of random how they kind of have some of the characters just because it's like uh like you wouldn't really like care for some of these characters at all but going down we have Whis, we have Krillin, we have Jace again like who cares about Jace, right? Uh we have Goku, we have Master Roshi, we have Great Saiyan Man, we have Jocko, we have Goten, we have Kobito God or you know um the fusion or whatever. Uh Gotenks, Android 18, Gohan and then going down, we have a couple more right here. And then over here, we have Chiaotzu, we have Bardock, we have Broly, we have Hercule, Mr. Satan, uh, Tien, Piccolo, Vegeta, Mr. Popo, Trunks, Beerus, King Vegeta, and Yamcha. So yeah, Yamcha made it on the list, so he's, he's pretty relevant, right? Um, and then continuing on uh, over here, we have uh, the strike. So how much damage does like strike one, strike two, strike three. Again, this was fight. You know, this was a weird one just because like, you know, this means there, this is none. So I wasn't really sure what uh, what it really means card wise, like to search for anyway. Over here is a type of card, so you have the leader card, which is basically like your MP, the person that you start out with, your vanguard, you know, uh, your character, avatar, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is extra cards, so extra cards, they don't have power. Um, they're pretty much like event cards in P the Panini game. It's a good equivalent. And uh, battle cards, you know, all your characters, like the, um, the people that you kind of play with. Over here is color, so it's pretty much self-explanatory, and obviously you have to translate this because you guys can figure it out yourselves. But it's cool because playing the Score Z version, uh, when they had certain styles and they had Tokuwaza and stuff like that, they had the Japanese like kanji or symbols for it. So it's cool to see like you know red style. You could see where it kind of obviously derived from and seeing the color. And Sane didn't have a specific. They had the green, but you no know, green obviously doesn't mean Sane. But it's cool that uh, it just looked like that. So that's pretty awesome. And then this right here, again, is to clear everything. So it's pretty much, you know, you click on something like this, this. Um, you go over here, and then you press clear, and then it goes away. Yep. Uh, right here is sort. So it's just sorting out the cards by um, up here. As you can see, it doesn't have any closed things. So the moment you hit this, it goes away. Like, it just sorts out the cards, and just goes away. So, so you guys know. Uh, but this is Ascending Strike order so basically like um the amount of damage going up so if the card does zero damage one two or three um goes up that way uh level descending so level is basically the cost of the car so if it's level zero one two three four five is the highest um this is card number ascending order so i guess in the set the card number whatever this is a power ascending order so how much power it does or deals or has uh in ascending order uh this is ascending color which is weird because, you know, ascending color, it's like, uh, what? Um, and over here is everything just descending. So the same thing, you know, uh, descending strike, 
uh, descending level, ascending uh, power, uh, sorry, uh, card number, power, and color. So, pretty much that. And then right here is uh, to close. Oh, sorry, to search. Back, back. I don't want to play. This just means okay. My bad. And then over here, uh, this is just like uh, to edit your deck. Um, this is like to. Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, this is like your just your card library or whatever. Just seeing all the all the cards that you have, and um, this is where you can um, place cards in and get money for them. So as you can see, like that's the your total amount. Uh, that's like to confirm. Here is again the search and sort where you can search by a certain card and then you know sort it out or whatever. So if you want to um, buy some cards and. Oh, sorry, if you want to just sell some of your cards so that way you can buy more cards or buy packs or whatever, you can do so as you can see how much money I would get. So going back here. And then this is yes, no. It's just asking you, uh, are you sure you want to leave or whatever? And like, yeah, without doing anything. This right here is a, the Geisha. And again, it's I think it just means, um, again, uh, I'm pretty sure it just means uh, just like getting cards or just means card. Uh, so if we click on it, Right here is just telling you if you want one card, like get one card, or do you want to get uh, consecutive cards? In this case, it would be two, hence why the two is there. The more money I have, the more cards I can purchase, and this is like how much zenny I have, just like that. Um, this is um, digital items, so um, these are going by like the the sets, like sleeves you can buy. Um, you can buy um, look for your avatar and all that stuff. So it's just extra merch that you don't need to get but um you can just buy if you have like the the cash flow for that it's basically just show that yo i'm swag i got the the money to spend on this stuff and you know just want to look cool some of them you can unlock you know so it's really cool like hit champa and all that stuff that's awesome so here's like the just like some terms and conditions stuff or i uh, started like the credits like what it's all about you know nothing really important and uh over here is uh like the options so this right here is a, your set volume so if you want to set the, the volume or the sound of the game um to change your player name so you can change it right there this is this just links you to a website to their um bandai website and uh this is just like your agreement terms and conditions legal stuff right there um and then just to delve into one more thing um if you want to play a friend uh, this right here is letting you know if you want to battle your friend and uh, if you want to this one's weird like translation uh, I think it just con goes into confirm the battle challenge or battle quest so I guess it's some kind of like quest or something like that um, I tried doing this I never really understood what it really meant but this is like if you just want to play your friend and this right here is just showing you all the, the breakdowns for it so this just means uh, please enter your friend's name your friend's name um you just input their their name here um the confirmation friend name confirmation friend name challenge and of course the back button so i think that's pretty much all the the basis and coverage for everything you know um again if i missed anything uh just let me know um i'm pretty sure i got at least the majority of it so that's pretty much the whole program translated Again, um, you know, if you have any questions or anything, you know, just shoot me a message. Just remember to give this a like if you guys enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully I did a good job just explaining everything to you guys. And it's uh, really easy to navigate to once you get the hang of it. You know, it's uh, you pretty much like stay between here, like to battle and uh, probably just editing your deck and stuff like that. It's pretty much it. So until next time, Z Warriors, um, with that being said, uh, make sure to also check out my channel for other Bandai videos I'm starting to do. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So until next time, Mr. Waffles out.